afternoon. Um, I figured I'd do a little walk of the property. This is pretty much my driveway. Um, yeah, you can't see the house from here. It's okay. I'm going to pan over here to the right. Um, part of me buying it was that I wouldn't buy it unless there was an actual survey done. So there was no land disputes on where fences should or should not be. Um, all of the orange string tape stuff are my property markers. Like you can see this one here really close. You can see the next one is down there. Um, and it, they go on. Um, I am not dressed to go hike and show how far it goes off, but everything on the left of this tape is my property, and it goes straight into forest. The, uh, yeah, welcome to my next adventure, right? So, again, driveway and the road that goes on the property, both sides of this road mine. Lots of forest again on this side. And then you see orange tape again. And again, the orange tape marks the property line of what's mine. Everything to the, to the right of this line is mine. I don't know if I said that backwards on the other side. Um, but you can kind of see where the tape goes off into the forest, kind of wrapped around several trees. You can see it back over there. Um, again, not dressed to go walk the property line right now. So, let's walk in. <laughs> so here to the left is a ravine, um, rainwater runoff basically. Um, there's a dip up top towards the end. I can see it on Google Maps and on the land survey stuff, but I can't see it from here. Um, might be a great place to put a pond. But that's going to be like second or third year. I'm probably not going to get that done this year type thing. Um, if you take the fork to the right, you actually go to the house. Um, and I don't think you can really see it from here. This shiny thing, there's the Jeep. There's the house. Um, again, both sides, both the to the road to the house and this this other road both sides of this are all mine so i am really excited to be here and really excited to start the next adventure um i know the prior owners dug some stuff up and took it with them you can kind of see it there they dug something up i'm not sure what was there um left me the irises um, I'm probably going to have to take them out this winter so I can figure out what I want to put here if I truly want to keep it irises or not. I'm not going to walk too far off into the grass. Um, we're warm enough that the snakes are already out. And in some places the grass has been mowed. And in some places the grass has not been mowed. So if it's short enough that I can see what I'm doing. But if it's too tall, I won't be walking into the grass today. Again, not dressed for, for, not dressed for hiking around the entire property. Um, that's where the power comes in. So it's a clear straight line. Um, and then I won't lie... Kind of dips down. There's a that's part of the ravine where the water drains off from the top side. Um, yes, I want to go explore it, see if there's an actual pond down there, or if I can make a pond down there. You know, just all kinds of fun stuff that I'll get there. That's the view of the house. So that's the deer stand that they had on the property. Uh, 
Um, another garden here, really overgrown. You can see there's more irises. Looks like they were dumping boulders and rocks here that they didn't know what to do with elsewhere. Yeah, I'll have to clean that up and figure that one out. Another view of the house. So yeah, this is all grass and yard. Um, I, this, uh, there was a tree here, I guess. He's also dug that up. I think this is the one that he was telling me that he and his wife planted the day they got married. They wanted to take it with them. And I was like, yeah, whatever, go ahead. You know, take it. Yeah, if I want TV, got to connect the satellite. Um, burn pit. They do, they do you know, Friday barbecues out here all the time, I guess. So they've got all kinds of little mini planters. Again, I think it just piled from rocks that they found on the property. Um, little set of steps here. It's another one further down. That's all mine. Yeah, there's a, a junk pile. Um, There's firewood they haven't done anything with yet that I'll end up doing something with, but and there's a junk pile. I don't know, I'm going to have to get through that and get rid of it, figure it out, burn it off or something. Um, mostly because I think this is the garden. I truly do, and I think the junk pile is in the way. Um, lots of sunlight. You figure there's tr trees there on the north, but the... Uh, Sorry, I just lied to you. That's north. So that's east. That's sunrise. But after sunrise, you've got great open space, lots of land. That's south. I think this is the garden. I think the trash pile's got to go. And there's another trash pile up there. But being that's in the middle of the trees and stuff, I, I won't deal with that one first. So this was his man shed. Um, great space to park a, park the riding lawnmower. He had his parked here. Yeah, I'll park mine here too. There you go. I've got to do something. He talked about he gets wasps in here, and there's one right there right now. So... I don't want to go in there and piss them off, but I need to figure out how they're getting in and get rid of them. So 
And now this little road curves around. I'll look at that in a second. This is the back side of the man shed. This is either garden number two or greenhouse space. Um, Cause there's the, there's the pile of junk. There's the green grass area that would be garden closest to the house. So that makes this a really good greenhouse location. It's just awesome. Well, I'm not going to lie, it's just awesome. So if you look through the trees, you can see there's a fence kind of kind of on the trees or in the trees type thing. The um, According to the surveyor, none of the fences are in the right place. Um, prior owner did not have it surveyed when he bought the land. He just always assumed the fences were in the right place. Um, something that he and I and the surveyor have talked about, none of the fences were in the right place. And he's gone and verbally told his neighbors um that the survey was done fences are not in the right place that um you know don't be surprised if i change them or move them accordingly in or out but there's lots of little hidden nooks back here the, uh, when you get up to the fences, this is behind the, there's the debris junk pile. This is behind the junk pile. This would be its own little mini flower garden. Put a bench out here or, or an atrium or, you know, a gazebo, whatever. So, anyway, I've not walked the property again, and I don't see the orange tags from where I'm standing. But somewhere over here is the back corner. Again, not dressed for it. Don't have pants on, don't have boots on. Um, chiggers are out, ticks are out, snakes are out. I have to clean that up out the tree. Either that or just take the tree down, it looks half dead. Gonna have to make sure whatever weed eater I have is a, uh, you know, heavy duty for tackling some of this garbage. Makes you wonder what's living under the rock. All right, I'm not going to go up and around the road. This leads back up to the to the the road that curved off to the the left on the property. There's a hunter's cabin way back there. We'll save that one for another trip. That's the second junk pile that I'm not going to do anything with right away. I'm assuming that pile was made when they actually cut it down and made the road here. All right, I'm going to talk to y'all later.